When you visit Fort Clatsop National Historical Park near Astoria, be ready for an explosive experience. One, two, three. It's a black powder demonstration that really gets your attention at the replica Fort Clatsop that was winter home for Lewis and Clark's Corps of Discovery in 1805. In the summertime, we have rangers down here in costume, and we do different talks and demonstrations. So we usually have a couple of folks in the fort just answering questions, telling the Lewis and Clark story and the Clatsop story. Step into the Fort Clatsop Museum and learn more about the remarkable cross-country journey through exhibits, drawings, and equipment that puts you in touch with history. Then hit the trail and explore the outdoors where Lewis and Clark made history perhaps along the awesome seven-mile-long Fort to Sea Trail. If you're lucky, park ranger Carla Cole can teach you much about what you're seeing when you stop in at the new Ethnobotanical Garden. Have a place where this is easily accessible to visitors and they can see the whole, a nice variety and diversity of some of the native plants of the area. The garden boasts native plants that the explorers collected and documented, like Pacific silverweed or purple blossom camas the arrowleaf wapato, all prized as staple food sources. One of their prime directives was to um, catalog and observe the plants and animals they encountered and be thinking about what might be um, valuable economically or culturally. And that's why they spent so much time and effort, you know, really precisely detailing them and collecting them and going to all that work. The Fort to Sea Trail stretches from Fort Clatsop nearly seven miles to the ocean. Atop Clatsop Ridge, you can see the ocean in the distance, and then learn that there are an additional six miles of looped trails that allow you to walk in the footsteps of Lewis and Clark, like the South Slough Trail. In 2007, the National Park Service restored South Slough Estuarine Marsh, where Lewis and Clark documented abundant bird life and baby salmon. And that happened uh, really just through the removal of a culvert and a tide gate back in 2007. We've got all sorts of diverse native uh, shrubs and sedges and grasses and bulrushes and cattails are all coming back. Stroll the South Slough boardwalk that keeps your feet dry above the marsh and see more of the plants that Lewis collected, salmonberry and salau. Common enough today, but in 1805, neither had been seen by Western scientists before. The plants are all still here. All of these plants that you see here today, um, these are the same species that were here when Lewis and Clark were here and wrote about them in their journals. It is all a terrific time for exploration, adventure, and education. Fort Clatsop and the Fort to Sea Trails are waiting for you anytime. Near Astoria, with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW.